So, in this video, we are going to animate this painting in After Effects. And it's pretty easy. The trick is the details and sometimes challenges with the puppet tool, which I may cover in this video or the next one. It depends on how well the computer handles this because the puppet tool is RAM heavy. It takes up a lot of memory. So let's go to After Effects. Go to File Import or Command I. Okay, go to your file. Open. And I want to open as a composition with editable layer styles because it is the layers that we're going to be animating. We do not want a flattened image. So, as you see, it creates its own composition. So I am going to tap on number four here. All right, and if you expand these compositions, you'll see that they're completely animatable. So, what I'm going to do is tackle her head, and I'm going to hit A for the anchor point tool, and then click on the pan behind anchor point tool, because I want her anchor point to be at the base of her head. So I'm going to choose the R key for rotation, go back to my selection tool, because I want her to, yeah animate from there, not from the middle of her head. This is what it would look like if it was like in the middle of her head. Yeah, humans don't <laughs> tilt their heads that way. So back to the base of her head. Cool. So I'm going to move ahead a bit in the timeline and enlarge it so I know that I will be within a certain range like 15 frames, yeah, from 20 to 35, that's zoom. Gonna add some markers, 20 to 35, that'll be 15 frames. And I'm going to click the stopwatch on rotation, because that's what I'm going to animate. Now, I am going to bop her head. Move it down just a bit. And then return it to that zero position. In animation, you're not supposed to uh, return to the exact position, but I just thought that would be just easier. I'll go and tilt it just a bit. Just a teeny bit. I think I want negative two. Yeah. Nothing like a little math to make things a bit easier. So I'm going to trim the composition. Down a bit, just for the just for rendering. There. And I'm gonna hit the space bar to play. Looks like I didn't move it enough. So, let's try this again. And go back a bit. Try that space bar. Okay. I really don't want the movement to be that extreme. I can always refine it. How about a negative nine? And maybe a five here.
since I want it to go slower, I'm going to go and space out the frames a bit. So selecting the frames. These little diamonds, which can be created right here for extra frames, but After Effects also animates as you move along, um, they can totally be manipulated. Space out the frames here. Space bar to play again. That's better. For the sake of the demo, I'll leave that the way it is. Now I'm going to animate her hair a bit. And her hair, I think I would like to scale rather than rotate. So, I'm going to move that anchor point again. A for the anchor point. Her hair should be at the base of her head. I'm going to isolate that layer. Probably right around here, right? That little white dot is to isolate, and it goes into this column. Whenever you want to isolate anything, yeah, like the teapot here, just click in that column on that layer. All right, so this is going to be a scale. Whoops. Go back to here. Scale. I'm going to click the stopwatch here. And I want her head, so I'm going to click the U key to see the keys. So I think her hair wouldn't move until she moved. So I'll squish there. And I am going to deselect the constraint. And she'll, her hair will probably move from side to side, so that will be, that needs to X coordinate. So, usually when your head is back, probably, oops, sorry, your hair would expand a bit. Yeah, that's what it would do. And as we move towards her head bobbing forward, we can squish her hair. Oops. Maybe to like around 96. And then it returned to the 100% position. I think I will have it at 101. Just want to overshoot it just a bit. Just for the extreme and subtle. So I'm going to save. This file is saved. Let me save as. After Effects. Away from the Assets folder. Make sure it's on the outside. So Sunday Morning Tea. I think that should be in this folder. There we go. Sunday morning tea. Yep, replace, please. All right, and now go ahead and render spacebar. Probably refine that a bit. What does your hair do when you put your head back? doesn't quite do that. I think we need an anticipation. So I'll have to squish inward before it um before it expand before it expands us. So yeah, squish before expanding. So, how about a 98? Let's see what happens there. Space bar to render. <laughs> I think I made it a little worse. Let's space out the keys and see what happens. Still wouldn't be that fast. There's something odd about the settle. I'm going to return it to 100. Get rid of that key. Try it again. It's a little 
better, but your hair doesn't move that fast, especially hair that is poofy like this. How about if it settles at way after the head? We'll expand the timeline here so we can see. Let's not settle for a very long time. Expand the rendering bar here. This may take longer. That's a little better. Weight can be achieved with spacing in animation. Let's move this a little backward. about 102. Better than it was. All right. So let's review. So in After Effects, you have layers that you animate. There are the opacity keys, T for opacity, R for rotate. S for scale, P for position, that's when you want to move anything. I am going to move opal instead. See? All of these, pos all of these can be animated under the transform tools. Anchor point, position, scale, rotate, opacity. The stopwatch is how you begin animation. Like say for position, I want to move opal. I want to move her up. Select tool. I want to move her up. It creates its own keys, or you can make your own if you wish, if you're not animating straight ahead, or you want to do something special. I'm going to return Opal to her original position. Clever way to do that is just look at the coordinates. She was at 531. Punch in 531. Return to the original position. The space bar is how you play back your scene. All right, and that is how you do basic animation in After Effects. There is the puppet tool, which is what I really want to use on Opal. So I'm going to delete her position keys. Return her to 531. Okay, going to isolate her going to go to Photoshop. I do believe that I, I extracted her. Let's just delete all of these just to see. Oh, no I didn't, but I shall. And of course, those of you who are not familiar with extracting you use a mask and the brush tool and black takes away and white if you hit the X key that's how you toggle right over here white restores but we'll get into that later for those of you who did not take Mr. Anar's class before animation or in tandem with animation. So, the puppet tool is a bit tricky, but it's so much fun. So, you use a pen to hold things down that you do not want to move. And, puppet overlap, starch pen, position pen, bend, 
use a variety of these. What I'm going to concentrate on is her tail. And I want her head to stay put. So, that tail. Click under mesh. Figure out where that is. <laughs> these are a lot of fun. It's a deformer. So if it's got the puppet pin, deform pretty much means anything that kind of morphs. So her position is here. You see that key? It's right there. Let me move the playhead away from it. Yep, there's that key. And you can move the tail here. So you've created a key on its own. And I'm gonna move the tail up there. I could have pinned that um, her body right there. Kind of return her to position. Let's see what that original position is. 185. So 185. There. Now I'm, I'm going to just leave the rest of the layers off because this is so memory heavy. And press render. <laughs> really cute. I'm going to turn this off. Let's see how that looks now. There. Puppet tool and animating via the transform tools in After Effects. It's a great deal of fun. My computer handled it pretty well. I think yours can. Just think of the more complicated paintings that you can make either in Photoshop or with practical materials like I did here and you can make a pretty fun little scene out of paintings. Give it a try.